Today on Hot Takes, we're talking about Kanye West, the icon, and how you can make a statement with your original work. All that coming up next. You don't want to miss it. What's up, guys? I'm so glad that you joined today. I just wanted to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month and get a shout out at the end of each episode. And if you or anybody you know is looking for any film or video services, be sure to check out EvanRogersFilm.com. Evan Rogers Film, creating the visuals of the future. So guys, I wanted to talk today about the great Kanye West, who, as many of you know, just released uh, a lot of big stuff about his new album that's coming out, Donda, which is supposed to drop Friday of this week. So this episode's coming out tomorrow, Thursday. I'm recording it on a Wednesday, but coming out on Friday, and it's a big one. I mean, he's he's done what he always does, where he goes media silent for basically two years, <laughs> and then pops back on the radar when he's ready to drop something. So I'm sure it's going to be a masterpiece. And I just wanted to talk about him because I think he is one of the most creative people on the entire planet. Um, and he definitely takes time into his craft and something that we can talk about. So I wanted to pose this thought or a couple of these uh, thoughts here. What if captivating your audience was as easy as speaking your truth, telling others how you view the world and how you want others to see it, your perspective, your world? How can you create a world out of your personal experience? So I wanted to pose that. Now we get into Kanye. Kanye is a master at channeling his experiences into his art, as you know. Um, he wants others to see him as a thought leader and an icon. That's really big. Icon. That's a huge word, right? He does this through expressing himself transparently, which I think if you know his music, you know that that's been him through and through from start to finish, right? So far. There's no finish line, but coming up. The new album is, is his newest. His artistic flair is powered by his desire to make a difference and let people in on a world. And I put a world in quotes. Um, that's something that we're definitely going to talk about in uh, just a little bit. He does this through his iconic sound, new or old, and the images he puts out, he puts forth in his music videos, fashion, and stills which you guys know he's very, very big on a, on an experience, right? He sells that experience about himself. Um, and I just wanted to, you know, a couple, couple questions that I wanted to dive in on that I think are going to be really important. And I'm going to get really passionate because Kanye is like seriously one of my biggest inspirations all across the board and everything. Um, I think he is an incredible, incredible spokesperson for how you can create original work, which is kind of what we're talking about today. So what could you create if you let yourself rise out of the social constructs or pressure you or others put on you? That's a huge question, right? That's something that's really, really pretty deep, actually, when you think about it. There's so much in our life that can pull us down and make us feel like we can't create the art that we want to make, right? I think Kanye is a great example of somebody who doesn't let that show necessarily all the time, but we're going to talk about that later. I think he, I think he actually does a very good job of this, but can you imagine if you come to a place and this is something we've talked about probably in a lot of different ways on the show. If you could come to a place where you realize, wow, if I just took a step outside of all of this stuff, that's really bogging me down. I can't, I can't even imagine how, how freely I could create or what I could create from that freedom, right? That's something that's really, really interesting about Kanye is that he makes it freedom. He makes that hard stuff that bothers him so much freedom. The things about life that are very difficult and challenging, if you're able to step away from those things and view them from the lens of, yeah, they're in my life, but I'm not gonna let them rule me, freedom. That's a way that you can create, right? How Can you imagine... If you were able to approach your craft every day from that perspective, I know all of us get bogged down by stuff, but that should be what our approach is, is to approach every day in a way that we can put off and rise above all of the social pressures and all the other life pressures that challenge us and, and limit us from creating freely, right? Next thing I wrote down is creating your world starts with you being able to observe it from the atmosphere and share your frustrations or successes. Kanye does a great, great, great job at this. Creating a world, which I've mentioned a little bit before, but I'll go into now. It, it's about creating a feeling, right? Uh, here's something, perfect example. There was a music video that I worked on not too long ago where it was a very abstract concept where we didn't really know how best that we could uh, put this into motion, really, how we could put this on the screen. 
And so we started talking about the themes of what the piece was going to mean in the end and what the song meant and what it was about and the things that the struggles, the, um, the positives, the different things in there that really created something. And it's amazing about the human connection and condition when you realize, wow, I relate to that. That relatability is what you're trying to get at with your world, right? Because you want to bring people in, but you're telling it through your lens, through your perspective. That's what that world creating is. But you also want to bring people in on a very mystical sense of what you're trying to say. It's not something that they know already or they're not going to watch or listen to your perspective because they're like, well, I've heard this before, right? This is, or I've seen this before. This is something where you're saying, okay, well, what are the different things I'm trying to touch on here? What are those emotions and deep feelings that my partners on this project feel with me or, you know, my confidants, my closest people, if you're doing something solo, what they feel like, how can I express what I'm feeling here in a way that's, that presents mystery or give somebody an experience that they've never had before. Right. That's really big in, I, I say creating world. It's also called world building, right? You're building a world that people can come and consume and be a part of. So if somebody's going to take the time to watch your video, I would hope, or, or listen to your song or, you know, or see your product. I would hope that you give them something where they see, wow, this is an original work. This is something that I've never even thought about before. Wow. This perspective is crazy. This shot is crazy. Wow. Look at these images. It's something about the full package that creates bringing a world to somebody. Right. And, and I wrote in here, like I just said, um, you got to observe it from the atmosphere because you can't be in, in the world and listening to other people's, you know, opinions and different things about different things. Sometimes you have to run with a concept and dream a little bit and come outside of the atmosphere and view all of the things that you're going through in your life, all the challenges, all the upsides and what your story is going to be and figure out how you're going to play into that. You can't let, you know, all of the earthly forces and, and things pull you away from that. Kanye is a great example of somebody who does that. He basically goes completely silent. Like I was saying for years before you hear from him again in the public, <laughs> he doesn't do hardly anything. He does some press and all that stuff when he releases an album. But after that, He's in his zone creating and he seems always burdened, right? He seems very burdened by the world a lot of times or extremely fired up or something. But anytime he's releasing a fashion line or something, you know, you're getting a world from Kanye. When you're sitting in the room, listening to Kanye, wherever you are, it sounds different than you've ever heard before. So what is something in what you bring to your craft that you're very good at that you can create this experience and world for somebody? You need to be thinking about world building, right? And then another thing on top of that, I wrote down, this is your personal experience. You can't be afraid of trying to impress onlookers. The onlookers are there to see you and your story. Remember that you're not doing this art for the people that are going to watch that don't agree with you. You're doing this for the people that choose to click and watch or choose to click and listen on something that you created. And that's the thing is you want this experience to be very personal. Anything that's uh, that's weighing you down or things that are making you super excited, that's the kind of energy that you need to totally focus on and let that be the driving force be behind whatever your original work is. So there was a short film I did about four or five years ago now, and it was during a time in my life where I was really struggling with a lot of stuff and uh, specifically was having some issues just on the mental health side, and I felt like the best way for me to express all of the pain and, and things that I was feeling through a spoken word narrative. And I wrote this voiceover that to me was the kind of the whole feeling of what I was feeling in a four minute story. And I realized that that was something that was very personal for me, not easy to say, but I felt like for me to rise above this, you know, it's not, it's not something you can always rise above because I'm still dealing with it to this day, but it's something where you can get more control over your situation and know how to defend against it better. And in my, in my way of thinking, I thought this would be the best way for me to 
put it out there and move on. And that stage of my life of, of just, you know, real darkness and, and frustration and all that would be put away. And I think you see Kanye do that with his albums. When he releases something, it's what he's been sitting on, right, for years, like I've said, or a year or months, whatever. It's him and what his experience is that he puts out. And it's very personal to him every single time. And he wants people to be brought into that experience, right? So that's another point I put down. Um, and then, of course, as we've discussed, there are guidelines and ways of story that all of us know through our time down on, you know, down the trail that helps us present our findings within ourselves in a medium that stands on its own. So I hope that made sense. Basically, what I'm trying to say is we all have our different mediums that we pursue, right? Whether you're in film, whether you're in music, whether you're in any business related, you know, work or a service based business, a product based business, whatever you have your time down the trail of, and what we've talked about many times where you've studied the craft relentlessly, 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 and you know, all the ins and outs, and you know, the framework behind your specific medium, right. Of what you do well. And so when it comes to, you know, your experience and the story, the original world building that you're doing, you want to make sure it fits between all of those parameters that just help you tell your story better. It's not that any one of these forms is better or worse, or if you went above them, that it's bad. You're not necessarily rule following because you need to obviously have that energy built up behind what you're trying to tell that it's authentic and real and all that stuff. But it does help to fit your framework and realize what mediums work best for whatever your original world is going to be. Kanye does that really well. Sometimes he's, you know, it's almost always music, but I think what he does really well is in film and video, he tells his stories beautifully in music video form because you can really see what he's thinking through all of that stuff when you can see it visually. And so I, I, I wrote another thing right here about Kanye. Kanye doesn't hold back on sharing his experiences and thoughts with the world. He's not trying to fit in. He's trying to revolutionize. Think about that. Think about being somebody that's thinking different. People don't want to come and approach a story or a world that is done before necessarily. They want to have your unique take and you have a unique take because your perspective is unique from any other person on the planet. You might have shared things and realities that of course are real that both people know or multiple people know, but you alone are the one that needs to present your findings into fact for your world. People are coming to listen because they want your perspective. And I've been blessed with this podcast, for example, as a good outlet to be able to do that, where you guys are just the best for listening in and being a part of it. Um, I'm, I'm blessed every day that I get to share some of my thoughts this way. Obviously, this is not my artistic um, pursuit necessarily. I have a lot of other things that I do, but this is a cool way for me to express some of my thoughts out there. So thank you for listening. Um, and so Kanye does a very good job of that. He's trying to revolutionize the space. You're not just trying to fit in. You're trying to revolutionize. And when you're building a world, you want to bring people in on this land and this, you know, this experience that you have pioneered that others have not, right? And then Kanye is an example of someone who creates without limits. Find your space, work at it, and don't let anyone in until you are ready. He's great at that. We've already talked about it. So don't let people into that space unless you want them to and you need perspective or you're done and ready to share your work. And it's there's a lot of pressure nowadays to put your work out, put your work out, put your work out, but find other avenues to share work. And, uh, you know, if it's something that's like teases at the project or different things or it's something different entirely, just a passion thing, do that stuff. But work on your original work until it's finished. I'm working on something right now that I've been working on for quite a while now. Um, me and my wife are working on it, and it's very special. It's going to take us a while until it's done, but I can't wait to share it because I know when it's done, it's going to be the best expression and use of the time it could be. And Kanye is a great example of that. And anything he puts out, you know there's been time down the trail. You know that he's taken a long time thinking about what that world's going to be, what it's going to look like, how it's going to feel, how it's going to sound. And by, uh, by the result, obviously, we're not even talking about how incredibly gifted he is in general as an artist. And that's something we're not really talking about in this. But your gift plays into all of the prep that you put into building your world. Your gift is your way to express that. And Kanye does it beautifully, right? And so all of that to say, 
I felt like I needed to come out here and talk about this because obviously Donda's releasing. I was hyped seeing all those posts and just the power that that has when you see a post from a guy who, you know, if you're looking on Instagram and you realize, oh my gosh, he just archived all of his posts. What is coming? That's a great example of like, oh my gosh, something's, you know, you're getting people hyped. You're bringing them in. And obviously there's, there's actual parameters behind this from the marketing angle um, and sales angle that I've kind of learned through some, some books and different things that you can research about um, marketing funnel and different things like that, where you can, you know, study what your, your viewers like to see and then give them that, but in a way that's like marketing your world. Well, right. You're not, you shouldn't always be thinking in your pursuit of your original work of how do I sell this to people? In fact, I would say I wouldn't think like that all the time. I would have it in the back of your head, but like when you're creating something, let it be you. And then through thinking through what people enjoy about your art, take time to see how you can refine it to fit a market space. If that's the direction you want to go, you can also just put it out there and see what people think. And that's also a really great way to work. And I've done a little bit of everything. I think you get kind of both ends of the spectrum from very artistic, friendly people who love your work. And then you have a lot more of the, the kind of corporate space where it needs to fit in certain guidelines and such. But anyway, all that to be said, Kanye is an amazing example of world building and how you can be an icon. Think about that as you're putting your work together on the next one. How can you be iconic, a revolutionary, a pioneer in your space with your original work? And how can you change people's perspectives as a result? People are coming to listen, watch, or, you know, hold or view your work and you want to bring them in on your perspective. That is what make, makes art and what makes Kanye so valuable to this, this world. So anyway, that is the, the quick one for today, the hot takes for today. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and check out our Patreon. You can join in for as, long, as low as $1 a month, and uh, you get a shout-out at the end of each episode. There's also other benefits in there. Thank you to Ethan Welch for supporting us, uh, Next Level Supporter. You can join in on that and get a shout-out every episode. And also, on top of that, you can join in and get extra benefits depending on the tier that you join into and uh such as new episodes and uh t-shirt a t-shirt on the highest level and other great benefits you you get all of them down the, the down the line so thank you for doing that and then be sure to check out evan rogers film for any of your film needs evan rogers film creating the visuals of the future guys thank you so much be sure to check out donda on friday i'm sure it's going to be a huge drop and um, i'm excited to do the next one thank you guys for listening in i'm trying to the best way that I can express myself and my art through this show, but on a, on a way that's kind of like on looking to what I'm actually working on, if that makes sense. I'm really working on some great stuff. I'm excited to share. Thank you all. I appreciate you all. And we'll see you on the next one.